Hey guys and welcome back to yet again another video and today we're actually going to play some Darius top lane today actually going to play with uh, Trinity Force as well as Blade of the Rune King it's actually a really good build on Darius uh, once again I've seen like a lot of people building Blade of the Rune King on Darius and it's actually working pretty well like not gonna lie it's actually pretty good Anyways, for Darius top lane, the most optimal runes would be Conqueror in the primary uh, page, taking the Triumph with Alacrity, uh, with Last Stand. Now, you can also take Tennessee if you want to, uh, but I, I like Alacrity. Uh, as for the secondary, you want to take like Demolish with Bone Plating. Now, that's completely situational. You can also go for like Sorcery, but Demolish and Bone Plating is honestly what I like a lot. the most about Darius. It makes you a lot stronger in the laning phase. Now, as for the builds, uh, I'll leave out like the full runes, full build, and everything in the description, guys. So definitely make sure to check that out. This guy's actually gonna get the level two first right here. I'm just gonna allow this guy to get the level um, level two first. As soon as we get to level three, we actually counter uh, set very hard with Asterius because our um, our all in is a lot better than set. This is actually a really good matchup for Darius. Alright, so we're going to begin off, we're going to be starting off with freezing this lane right here. As soon as he arrives, we want to just try to drop down a Q on him whenever he tries to take a CS. That's kind of going to be like your trading uh, trading path then right here. Now we also have the jungle right here. Oh, that was actually really close. Don't think we can get him. Unfortunately, we can't get him because I don't have my W yet, and I missed my E. Like with those like on blank range, I just missed it like one step. But it's no problem. We popped the ghost. We got his flash, which is pretty huge, especially early on in the game. Now we can just decide when we want to all in this guy. So we currently have the flash advantage, which is going to allow us to one v one this guy. Okay, got the CS. Now we're going to put this lane into like a slow pushing freeze because um, we have to go back to base, but we cannot just randomly go back because the lane is actually pushing it towards him. We're going to be like slow pushing the lane so we can build it up and then sh push it like straight to his tower. And by doing that, it's actually pretty easy to do. A nice backing off again. As soon as he tries to all in us, we can... Actually, I can just do it here. Just doing the all-in again, all over. Thank you very much. Uh, nice gank, to be honest, but... As you guys see, even if Set has an extra longsword, even if he already has an extra item, for us, it's literally only a matter of, uh, let me just quickly buy this, this, uh, I'm just gonna like this too, there we go. For us, it's only a matter of hitting the first Q, then following it up with a grab, and then doing like the rest of the all-in. That's the only thing that this matchup is about, like, this is a ma matchup which is completely favored for Darius. Unfortunately though, like, the gang came in by Gregas, and the lane is now actually being pushed in towards set. Which is actually bad because I lost a lot of XP, like uh, some serious amount of XP because of Gregas doing that. Uh, the matchup is not in a good state right now. We still have a lead on this guy, but it's been... We've kind of lost it because of Gregas, because of the gank. So we have to recover from this now. Nice. I don't have a war 2, so I have to back off now. There's nothing much I can do. It's too risky. Like, unless we see Gregas on the map right now, like, only if we see him on the map and to see where he is, only then we can do something. So I'll just be back. Like, even though my jungler's right there right now. On, like, inside of, uh, his jungle. He doesn't appear to be there. There's currently a fight happening right here. Gregas is there. Okay, that's really good to know. Hitting like the full Q there. 
Now we can just all in this guy right away. I do should not have used the thing there. There. Nice. Accidentally hitting the odd attack on the creep, but whatever, it's fine. Now we can push it entirely again. We can reset the entire laning phase again. Very good. I can also pop my potion very soon. Uh, I still don't have a ward yet, unfortunately. It's about 60 seconds. Okay, we got him here. Like, this is pretty much what Darius is about in a matchup like this one. You can't seriously just pop your grab and stall in after. It's that easy. Uh, there's currently like two people down there, uh, but I'm gonna go back anyway. Nice. I'll just buy like another potion. It's gonna be pretty useful. But anyways, the Trinity Forest, which we will get as the first item, it's going to allow us to um, stack up my passive a lot better. And it also helps me uh, proccing the ultimate a lot better, like getting the max stacks. Uh, so the Trinity Force gets like movement speed, attack speed, it gets like AD, it gets everything you need to 1v1 better. And the final, like the, the second item we we're going to get is going to be the Blade of the Rune King. And that item is going to allow us to 1v1 even better. More like an extra slow, it will give us more attack speed, more damage, a lot more damage actually, like on hit damage too. It's a pretty good item. He's not able to take the farm here at all. We currently have a pretty big lead in terms of farm 2 now. Craig is currently bot lane. That's really good to know. So that means that the jungler is now not here. Yeah, he's like out of pushing the lane with this W. That's pretty bad. Wow, I've accidentally messed up. <laughs> so what should have been done there was like an auto W and then into Q. But basically what happened, I used my W to go for the engage, but I even used it on the creep. So I didn't use the, the first auto and I accidentally W'd the creep. So yeah, that, that, was, that was a mistake by me. That was a bad mistake. Okay, he's not able to farm yet. He can't take that creep right there. We gotta be really careful with Gregos now because he could be coming topside soon. Got this pushing in all the way. Nice. So now we can, uh, after maxing your Q, you want to be maxing your E as secondary, and then you want to max your W as last. I kind of want to roll mid lane to see if I can kill the Syndra in mid lane, but by the moment I get there, the lane will be pushed into me again. Very good. This guy gets a triple kill. Wow, that's 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 pog. Okay, I can push this in. Okay. We can proc to demolish so we can get the next plating. We can still fight this guy, even him having TMF. We, we should still be a lot stronger than he is. We'll just push next wave, then we go back to base. Oh, I want to miss the CS. Oh, wow. I've accidentally missed like two. We can walk around here just like this and then see if he's going to pass. We shall see. Gregus is currently bot lane, so we know that he's not here. Okay, we got him. All we need right now is my passive to do the rest to finish it. Okay, he's locking right now. But we can proc another another demolish. 
Like this way, we are effectively getting him out. Like we may not get any kills on this guy, but we are taking him out of the laning phase where he doesn't get the farm and we get like the platings. Now I can go back to base again. Buy the next item, which will be the Trinity Force. Very good. We can also buy um, the Mercs right here. And we can also get a Control Ward. Now, something that which I would recommend all the time on Darius, guys. Uh, if, you're if you're playing Darius, you want to get your boots eventually and very fast because... Um, this boots basically uh, allows you to move faster, but it also uh, kind of gets rid of the CC a lot. So, very important, guys. Mercs is very important on Darius. You can also build Ninja Tabis if you want to, if they don't have that much CC. I'm not going to stand behind him because he... What do I go with Mistaking lately? I am misclicking, I'm misclicking like so much nowadays, like in this game. It's like I play Darius and I misclick all the time. I never misclick. But on Darius I misclick all the time. I can, I can kill him with a single combo right here if I want to, if he's going to stay. Okay, no problem. I just need one more for the tower. Just one more. Nice. We got the first tower. That gives us more gold. And now we can actually go back to base and buy the Trinity Force. Which will be the first item. Nice, we got the Trinity Force. We can also swap the boots right now with the Red Trinket. To be honest, like, Black Cleaver used to be the thing back in the day with Darius. But nowadays, like, people build Trinity Force all the time because it's just better. Like, the attack speed is better. Everything it provides is just better. We could finish it off right there. It's going to be difficult to do, but we, we'll see. 1W, 1Q is all we need right now, so... We don't really have any wards on here. Just a bit. It got, my, my E got cancelled. They cancelled it. I got him. Yeah, that's kind of surprising. Like, they canceled it. Okay, no problem. The dragon will spawn within now. So we have to get that dragon. We will have to. We can push this in easily with the Q. Yeah, we're not going to fight this guy. Obviously not. Now we can go back to base. We can buy the next items, which will be the blade. That we want to try it so badly. Okay. Top lane is currently being pushed in and the dragon is currently alive. We have to take the dragon right now. The dragon needs more damage. I, I like the Inferno one. It, it gives like plenty of damage if you if you get it. I'm also pretty close to getting my level 10 soon. Okay, we're all being grouped up for the dragon right now. They're currently trying to fight these guys. Oh. I didn't hit him. Oh, that's unfortunate. So, basically what I've wanted to try and do was popping the ghost uh, right here when Gregos was right here. 
popping the ghost and then immediately walking up to Zaya and Rakan and like getting the ultimate there. That was my intention, but uh, the way how this teamfight went was not that great. Like, Gregas just uh, basically threw the ultimate, so my Jonah couldn't take the dragon anymore. He was basically being CC'd. There was nothing that we could do right there. The, the best thing for us to do right there was to not go for the dragon at all and just let it slide and just wait. But no problem. We're currently pretty far ahead of set right now. We have to uh, use that as much as possible right now. I'm just going to take every camp I can while nothing is really happening around the map. Because here's the thing. If, if you don't... The biggest mistake that people make is not taking the farm when nothing is happening. Oh, we got this guy. Just a bit more. We get the assist, this guy gets the kill. I'm honestly perfectly fine with that because that makes my jungler more fit, so... I'm fine with that, that's, that's fine. Pushes in all the way, and then we can uh, probably go back to base again. We'll see. Not sure yet. He's actually fighting with Gregus right now. A little bit more. Ah, too too bad, unfortunately. Yeah, he got out. Okay, no problem. We will get the blade soon. And then we can like stack up the ultimate a lot faster. The passive like a lot faster. There are no wards here at all. Taking this one for myself as well. He gets a cab, that's fine with me. I don't mind too much. Okay, here we go. Set's right here. We can find him pretty easily when, whenever he gets close. I'll just be waiting patiently. He will come here soon, I think. Who knows? Thank you very much. We have another kill on this guy, another catch. When you're playing Darius top lane, you just want to focus on getting catches in games like this one where team fights are pretty hard to, to pull off as Darius like they have a lot of CC they have a lot of uh, ranged champions so it's hard for me to engage with them sometimes so in games like this one just split split push if you can't force the team fights because of their team comp uh, we could actually start a team fight right here I'll just pop my ghost right now Number one. Got him. And we got him too. Nice. We are super fed right now. The build is so strong. Like, the Trinity Force is such a strong item on Darius. It's completely underestimated by so many people. It's actually, like, so good, guys. It is. Now we have this item as well. We can buy a Contra Ward with this too. Which is honestly something I would recommend all the time. Okay. Dragon will spawn in 30 seconds and that's going to be a free dragon for us. Nice. The set only has like a total of 90, 90 CS. Like our farm is not the best either but we've been like fighting the entire game. So far, we've been fighting for literally everything. Yeah. Take the farm and then we move up to the dragon and force that. Hopefully, we're not going to lose this dragon here. If we get a catch on that guy, things will be a lot easier. Oh, 
I want to pop my ultimate on that guy. We can do the dragon right now. So they're not going to get it themselves. We can use the Blade Room King as an item to chase down Zaya because it's this this item allows you to slow them and then eventually grab them. So as you guys can see, like the attack speed we have right now is insane because we have a total of let's see, we have a total of like 1.27 attack speed right now. That's really high for a champion like Darius because Trinity gives attack speed, Blade gives attack speed. It's very, very nice. Let's see if we can get like a rip off uh, camp here. There's no rip off camp. Okay. There might be a chance that all of this could be warded. There could be wards. I'm just gonna back off for. I'll just wait whatever is gonna come. We don't really see anybody right now. There's no vision around the entire map. So. He would just be sitting here. And wait. We could get a nice catch if they happen to show up here. Like this guy. That's the stun. Okay, he does too much damage. He does way too much damage right now. We can't fight him. Unless we get a like, nice grab on this guy. Okay, got him. Thank you very much. Yeah, she does. She definitely does like a lot of damage right now. Anyways, guys, as you guys can see, this build is actually pretty OP. Not gonna lie, this build's really OP. It's so good on Darius. Anyways, guys, if you have a champion that you want me to play, uh, leave out the champion in the comment section below, uh, below the video. Also, don't forget to like if you guys see a champion that you would like me to see. So I, it's like on top and I, I can actually see it. Anyways, um, for ruins for build, it will all be in the description. Uh, also, don't forget to check out my stream if uh, you want to see more challenge elo games and don't forget to follow my instagram if uh if you will have like any kind of questions anyways thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys up next time peace